All right, guys, this may very well be the last part of Chia. I have a feeling we will reach the end this time, but I may be wrong, but we'll see. Last time we were inside. Actually, no, it should be the other way around. Meovora or Movora, whatever his name is, he ate us and now we're inside him. Luckily, all the kids are alive. Nobody ages inside here. My brother or our brother is still alive and we have to figure out a way to reach to his heart which i believe would be here <laughs> uh, as the sign icon indicates it is in here uh, well, first we gotta go to the right side and the left side and see where the veins la lead us to oh my god they're like creepy eyes is there anything we can morph into nope oh that's it that was quick where does it lead us Oh no, the sentinels, not again. Boom. Okay, so we already did this before. What is that? That is creepy. Oh, sheesh! We're gonna morph into it. We did something similar in one of the shrines, but not go into an eye. That's a little bit creepy. Okay. Oh, this is like a combo of the shrine puzzles. We were controlling a ball where we were rolling around and we had to hide from the light in another shrine. So this is like a combo of both in one. Okay, just have to stay in the shadow. Okay. Creepy music alert. Uh oh, uh oh, oh god, okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Why do I have to be in the eye, though? Okay, luckily there are these side ropes around us to help us from falling. In the shrine, there was nothing to keep us on top of the platform. That was tough, actually. Although this is not that easy either. Okay, now, now I don't feel like you guys missed out on anything. This was literally it in the shrine. Okay, and then these things start to fall behind you, so you have to like run. Yeah, if you stay on top, they fall off. Oh, there are teeth. Interesting design. Oh, okay. Man, this game went from like very Pretty, wholesome, cute, to creepy, with crazy bosses. Okay, we gotta jump over it. Yep. It was good that I did the shrine. This definitely helps. Wow, they are really recycling everything from it. Just, just kind of changing the design of it, essentially. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god! No, I could have just gone straight. Okay, I didn't need to rotate around. That's my bad. How far will we start from? Yeah, there's usually checkpoints. Okay. Not that far. Sneak to the end of the room. Okay. Here we go. Probably just make it. Oh god. There. Then I can just go forward. Perfect. What's this? Oh, hello. Oh, I think I could have gone there straight, but that's okay. Good thing you have a lot of control over the ball. Like you can stop midair and go back and forward. Which is very handy. Man. They're making the end game feel challenging for sure. Oh, the light is right there. Wait, where am I supposed to go? There's no more shadow anywhere. Oh, wait, I think I can fall this way. Yeah, okay. I think. Yo, 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 what the heck? 
That was instant. I thought you have like a few seconds before you get captured. Oh no, come on. I have to start all the way back here. Is there no other checkpoint? I don't know when this part will go up. I'm thinking around Wednesday, Thursday, maybe. By then, you guys should have seen the Hollow Knight. I just finished playing Hollow Knight. Ah, no, 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 no. I was talking. Man, that was two days of struggle with the Radiance. And I eventually defeated it. Yeah, I, can, I think I can say that. I'm pretty sure you would have seen the Hollow Knight clip by by this time. Yeah, that was quite the ride. I really, really enjoyed fighting the Radiance. That was such a difficult and cool boss. Okay, let's see how the boss... Whoa, I have to jump on top. Okay, what happened? Last time we just went... Yeah, okay. Can I go there? Yes. We can take a shortcut. I wish there was a checkpoint here. I'm still not sure where to go. I cannot go straight. There's not enough time. Oh, I see some uh, platforms over there. Wait, why is the light not turning off? Hello? Is there a bug? The light's supposed to turn off. Did I forget to press something or what? No, seems like a bug. There, now it turned off. But now I'm stuck. I can't go anywhere. I'm not supposed to be here. Maybe I can, I can go, oh no, 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 no. There was a bug, I couldn't do anything. The light wouldn't turn off. Okay, let's try this one more time. I think I, ah, I was gonna say, I think I know what to do. Come on, Chia. Very, 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 very weird control mechanics for this game. Ah, okay. Okay, hold on. Will, will it work this time? Okay, it seems like it. Oh, maybe I have to like completely hide and then it will turn off. Okay, at least it's working this time. Okay, I have to get to that platform over here. Yeah, this one. And then next one. Go, 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 go. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I think I think we'll reach it. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's uh let's do it next time. No, 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 no. Okay. Woo! Oh. Oh, it's a soul throw. Ooh, so gooey. That's gonna open, I guess, half the door? Because we have to go to the left side as well, not just the right side. Yep, we gotta go to the other side. There's probably another puzzle on that side as well. Oh, I'm glad we get pushed back to the campsite so we don't have to run back. Okay, 
What puzzle piece are we gonna do here? Probably some combat. I feel like we have to shoot things down. Whoa, that's a lot of flying teeth. And the light is there as well, okay. Nice dodge. Yep, there it is, shooting. Knew it. Oh, this is gonna be tough. We have to shoot and dodge? Interesting. Okay. Where do we shoot? Whom do we shoot? Do we pop into these? Whoa! No, right? We don't have to pop into these. Wait, do I have to shoot the eye? Oh! Run. <laughs> no, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. Oh, it's like the sentinel, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, what the heck is happening? Uh, hello? Yo, not, this is not the time to climb, Chia. We have to go to the platform. <laughs> Wait, how am I supposed to dodge you? Okay, 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 we can dodge. Okay, it's just a, it's just a running challenge, got it. Basically, don't stop. Don't look back, Chia, just keep running. Keep running, girl! Ooh! Wow, I feel like a Tomb Raider or Indiana Jones. Where am I supposed to go, though? Hopefully I'm going the right... Oh, shit! I know what to do. Oh, we're completely messing up the point. We have to destroy these thingies, flying thingies. In between dodging. Okay. There. Hold on. Okay. Oh my god. No, this is so hard! Yo, this is not supposed to be like Hollow Knight. Chill. Okay. Ah! No, <laughs> no, no, no. Ah! It's okay, it's okay, we can fall down. Falling down is allowed. Because we're gonna destroy 12 of these things. Okay, let's do the one on the ground first. Sheesh. Okay. There. There. Hi! Stop moving. Alright, that's good. Is there anything else left at this level? Yo! That sentinel is crazy, man. Okay. Do we see any more? I don't see any more on here, so it must be at the upper level. Okay, let's go. Oh! kidding me yo I'm aiming right at you there do we see anything else no I think they're all at the upper levels okay yikes this is crazy is this this is the radiance of Chia. Where are they? I can't see. There's one below it. I can see that one. Get out of there, Chia. Let's see if we can aim the one. Oh, there's one over here. Ah! Can't I <laughs> stop it? There. Oh, I think I'm at a good spot now. The teeth are protecting me. Okay, one more. Oh, it's right there. Okay, destroy all the floating ice. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Not bad, not bad. We kill the Radiance. Oh, 
Oh, we destroyed it from the inside. Yikes. All right, let's go to the heart. Destroy Mavora, Meovora from the inside. Let the gates to the heart open. Okay. Are we at max souls? Good. Because we're probably going to need it. Oh, there. The entrance to the heart. Oh my god. Oof. Haptic feedback on the heartbeat. Let's go. What am I supposed to do? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, wait. Am I supposed to explode it? Hold on. Do I have anything to explode? Oh... Oh wait, maybe it's this? Let's try the explosion first. No, it's not that. So maybe it's this then. Yep, it is that. I don't know what that is. And the game didn't tell us to use it. Burning down all the fabric pile is the only way to make sure the guards won't come back. Who came up with the idea of the enemies being fabric? <laughs> That's so funny and kind of lazy at the same time. Oh, here we go. He's gonna get he's gonna get both powers before imploding, I guess. Or exploding. Ugh. Is he gonna spit out all the kids? Oh he is! Oh one at a time. Who's that? There we go. Oh god. Wait, what happened? Where's the rest of them? Oh, here they come. Here they come. Oh! Disgusting! I'm oh, glad they got the babies. <laughs> Can you imagine? Baby hitting the floor with their heads first. Oh, it's going to become a worm once again. Oh, the wooden worm. Step on it. It's gonna collapse. Not unless Chia can help. Oh, wait! The baby is smart enough to know. <laughs> of course. What else can we expect from this game? It doesn't follow logic. It just does whatever is convenient. <laughs> That's okay, we'll allow it. That's pretty. You know what's funny? We still haven't explored the uh, points of interest in the city that we first discovered in the second part, which is on top of that building. <laughs> we never went at the, at the top to scream. And I remember I couldn't figure out how to get up there. Yo, you can start working now. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. 
Step on it. Step on it. No, just crush it. Yes. Yes, that is satisfying. Nice. Yeah, why give it a chance to resurface? Just kill it. Oh. Oh no, the goon is still there. Oh my god. Who's gonna fight the goon? Somebody's gonna come. It might be that flying dragon thingy. Oh no. Oh, it's his chopper, okay. Oh my god! Did he kill the baby? Are you kidding me? After all that, we we're ready to have a happy ending. No, don't let him go, Chia. Morph into something, yeah. Oh my god, are we gonna see some blood? Ooh, that is nasty. Wait. And he, she did the middle finger. Oh my god. He, she only cut his hand. I thought she was going to kill him. What the heck? <laughs> bird, bird. Give us a bird. It's birding time. Oh. The dragon came. Man, even till the end, huh? This game just never stops on the crazy. Oh my god, they killed a brother? Are you kidding me? And it, it, it wasn't like he threw him off the balcony or the platform so that we can jump after him. He freaking just sliced him to death. Wow. Oh. Wait, is he absorbing the powers? Oh no, he gave his life to the baby. Santa Claus. He looks like Santa Claus. He had powers all along as well? He never shared with them with us. Maybe his powers were to give his life. Oh my god. Hey, so cute! <laughs> Yeah, I missed the ukulele part. Um, should have uh, done more rock balancing things to discover more abilities. I wonder what else there are. I'm sure there's one for a summoning bird, another one for a crab. Oh, let's watch the ending first. Oh, the queen is back on her throne. Still don't know who this lady is. Hey! Mr. Know-it-all, his father is back. And our girlfriend is back too. Yay! Refugee for orphans and lost children, 24. And there's the headless chicken, of course. <laughs> there it is, guys. We did it! We completed Chia. My third game? Fourth game that I'm completing. I believe it's the fourth one. 
I want to see who the actors were, voice actors and everyone. And the song is nice too. Who's that? It's the team. Oh, it's the duo. I think they're from Australia. The team that made this game. So they must have traveled to the island for research. So these were their behind the scene pictures. Got it. Oh, I love this song. Whoa, look at that underwater. Their waters are that pretty, very clear and blue. Those must be all the voice actors for the kids. Licensed music, there you go. All the songs in the game. That's a lot of people to thank. I'm waiting for the credits to end so I can have my close, closing statements. Oh, look at that! Whoa, it's so pretty! Oh, this must be how the magical island is uh, based on. The one on the left side. So pretty. Project management. Amit, Chadda, and Muhammad Zanaid. It's like Indian? Or one Indian, one Pakistani? Kishin, simplified Chinese. Quality. Oh, there's the food! There was a lot of food in the game. This is a nice way to end the game. Like showing pictures of their research and behind the scenes. Playtesting. There was only a single person that did the playtesting. Antidote? Good for you, bro. Man, I love this song. Oh, there. All the playtesters. Now they're there. It's not their real name, it feels like their usernames. Fonts use, okay. And there you go. Thank you for playing our game. What's the circle about? I'll probably read more about it online. Uh, I'll watch some YouTube videos behind the inspiration and maybe look up a little bit more about the island itself. I'm really curious. It looks really, really beautiful. Trash your map, Anki. So now I guess they're telling us what else you can do in the game. Speaking of which, do you guys want me to do the trash? Oh, wait, there's more? Many years later? Nani, are we gonna be a grown up? Whoa! Oh, it's the story time that we started the game with. <gasps> I thought the storyteller was Chia, but no, it's not. It might be Louise. She kind of looks like Louise. It is Luis! Aww. The kid is so happy and inspired. Where's Chia gone? Did she die? Well, I'm glad I didn't uh, stop recording at the credits because there's like a post credit scene too. Oh, there it is! Oh, she is. Chia! They're all together. Aww. So cute. Oh, there's the flower. The infamous flower that identifies Chia. And this time it's... Oh my god, are we gonna play as an older lady? 
it's another song to end it all. Oh man, that is so pretty. Wow! Oh, I'm so happy now to learn that they grew up together on this beautiful island. Oh my god, it is so pretty. This is what we fell in love with, guys. The beginning. Oh. This is my dream. When I visited Philippines like six years ago, there were two islands just like that, one over there and one behind us, and they were connected by white sand, and the water was about waist deep. It was crystal clear, and when I was swimming in it, I, I felt it. I was like, this is it. This is my dream. I'm living my dream right now because I always wanted to swim in a clear water like this, and I did it that day. And it was very emotional. Like, I was by myself because I was away from my friends. And that just felt so serene in that moment. Aww, how are we looking as an older person? Where are we going? Are we going home? So beautiful. Wait. I need a thumbnail. If this is my thumbnail, you guys will be confused, like, what happened to Chia? <laughs> Why is she so much older? Okay. This game's soundtrack, man. What an incredible soundtrack. It made a huge difference. I enjoyed it so much. Like, I didn't understand a single word they're singing, but it was so fun to listen to. And some of the emotional songs definitely felt it. Hey, buddy. Hey, there's our mainland. Where's the other one? The city one. The one with the city is over there. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, it just hit me. The orphanage are all the kids that... Meovora spat out and we ran that orphanage since then obviously the kids must have grown up the ones that were spat out but these must be new ones yo how do you ride a bike at a beach that too a city bike it's not even like a mountain or dirt bike it's like a city bike <laughs> okay all right guys i guess you know how to do it Oh, so nice and peaceful. Love our island. Away from the main city. There's the first campfire we discovered. Ah, good old times. Which was two weeks ago. When we didn't know anything about it and we were like, why are the rocks so light? Can I push them? Nope. A little bit. Where are we going, though? I can't run. I can't do anything. All I can do is just walk behind Louise, who's not even looking back at us. It's, like, pretty awkward. I wish they were chatting between them a little bit on our walk here. That would that would have been a nice touch. Yo, is that new? That's new. Oh, it's the Trey's uh, dock or his house. Our favorite place in the game. Santa Clauses, yeah. I love this so much, it's so beautiful. Is that where we're living now? That's kind of cool. Look how beautiful the vegetables are. All perfectly organized. Okay. Oh man, look at that, the water is so good. And there's a turtle over there at the end. Oh. We're out of breath. <laughs> there, that's the thumbnail. I don't need to create my own. But that's a spoiler, though. Oh! One last time. Haha! <laughs> You do it, yeah. And that's where the game will end. Oh no, she didn't do it. 
Wait. Oh, I can. I can do it. Should we do it in real life as well? Or <laughs> something like that. Whoa, they do rap as well. Let's go. This island is lit. Is it hip hop or rap? Oh man, is there any song that I don't like? It's so fun. I don't want the song to end. If I hit continue, the song will end. Many years before. <laughs> Whoa, we're just going back and forth. There's no end to this game. Many years before. Oh, I guess they have to revert back to our younger self because we, we can still go and explore the island. They don't want us to explore the island as an older person. There you go. She's gonna be like, we have a lot left to do. Oh, and the enemies are different now. They're no longer fabric, it's actual people. Oh, because the goon wasn't dead yet. Yo, is there a Chia 2 coming out? Story complete, end game. Miyawara has been defeated and peace has been restored to the archipelago. Chia's mother has been reunited with her son and sits on the throne at Gangaza. Why is it? Why does it? Why do they phrase it that way? Chia's mother has been reunited with her son. Why can't she say Chia's mother has been reunited with your brother, and they sit on the throne? At okay, that's fine. A refuge has been established on Uma, where Luis and Caver offer shelter to orphans and lost children. Now is a good time to visit the resting places of the closed ones, lost during your journey. Oh, so there are new things to go and visit. Unfortunately, PV Dua is still at large and his... Oh, that's the goon. Is still at large and his ghostly henchmen seem to have taken over the remaining mono camps. Your adventure continues. New journal entry, henchmen. Visit your father's grave, chief and Gaby's grave. Your adventure continues. Okay, we're, we're unlocking a lot of things. Oh! Oh! I think we can summon the dragon now! Oh, there's a dolphin visiting us. Invoke Shitawa. A-C-E-D. Hold on. A-C-E-D. Yo! Oh, oh, don't fall down. This is crazy! And this thing flies so fast too. Oh my god, this is amazing! Can I swim? I'm just curious. Oh my god, can we just go to the island just by flying? Can I sprint? No. Whoa! This is amazing! So you know what this means? I can do the remaining shrines, get the maximum souls. And then I can basically fly anywhere on this thing. I, I don't need birds anymore! We don't need to do birding anymore. We can fly unlimited. Yay! Oh, it's so pretty. What a way to end. All right, so I guess I can sum up the game at, at this place because this is a perfect way to say goodbye. It's so beautiful, just like how when we started. What an incredible game. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it as well, uh, as much as I did, uh, because that was a big surprise. I just I just downloaded it on its release date as one of the PlayStation Plus freebies. I don't think I would have bought the game. I'm glad they released it on PlayStation uh, Plus, and I'm really happy to have played it. Really, really think it's one of the most prettiest game I've ever played. But having said that, there were definitely some downfalls as well. For example, 
after about like part four or part five, everything seemed pretty redundant. Like we've seen them all by then. In the beginning, everything was new. We were discovering so much. Uh, let's just swim to the island because then that will allow me to talk as much as I want. Um, yeah, so things started to become quite redundant. Like once you've kind of seen all the animals, like you've morphed into them, once you've seen all the challenges, uh, once you've seen all the points of interest, which is pretty fast, like in the first few hours, you will see all of them. Um, then it becomes pretty repetitive and you just want to get on with it. That's how, how I felt a little bit when I was doing the treasure hunt. Uh, perhaps if I didn't do the treasure hunt first, and I went, hey, are we seeing raindrops now in the water? Yeah, we are. It wasn't there before. Whoa. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, if I didn't do the treasure hunt, maybe I would have enjoyed this game more because we would still be discovering as we're doing the story. But because I spent like two to three hours doing the treasure hunt, I, I kind of discovered everything in the game before I went to the main story. Uh, but all in all, I would say I still enjoyed it. It was very, very trippy in terms of the story. My god, I was not expecting it to be that crazy. I thought it would be like a very wholesome with very basic kind of enemies. But eating babies and killing babies and fathers dying. Oh my god, that was, that was not something I expected. Uh, but you know what? I think it was really fun. I love the mechanics of morphing into different things. That was so funny. Like aside from animals, like morphing into random inanimate objects, that was that was one of the highlights where we just go into like pitchforks or apples or bananas or rocks. That was that was very very funny. So that was another good thing. Many many good things about the game. Very few bad things. I think they were trying too much with the combat side of things. They could have kept it pretty lighthearted, like it could be story driven game. They didn't need to do that much combat. Uh, it was kind of unnecessary where all you did was morph into explodable objects and then just hit the fabric soldiers. It was kind of like after a few times, it was really boring. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much my thought. I don't want to make it uh, a really, really lengthy part. Um, Surprisingly, even after the end, there was like post and post end credit cutscenes, uh, which I'm glad I stick stuck around to see. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of this game? Uh, did you enjoy it? I know in the beginning we all enjoyed it; it was very beautiful. But did you have the same feeling as I did when things started to get a little bit repetitive? Uh, and what did you guys think about the story? Did you find it just as crazy and shocking as I did? <laughs> or you were kind of like annoyed by it? Uh, I'll be interested to read your thoughts for sure. But that's it. This is the last part for Chia. Uh, if you guys are interested, I may do the treasure hunt if you want me to do it. But I may take a break for a while and then we'll come back to it maybe after a few weeks to do the treasure hunt. Because I want to play some other games that I have lined up. Uh, now that she has completed. I still have to get back to Hogwarts Legacy and Horizon Forbidden West. Those two games have been in my playthrough list for a long time. They're just such a lengthy game and not many of you enjoy watching that if I'm not mistaken because whenever I upload those parts like there's only 10 to 15 views so I'm not giving them a priority like those are games that I personally want to play but I believe they're not as fun to watch uh, so I may have to decide whether I just play them on my own time or I keep playing and uh, finishing them off. But I do have other games lined up, uh, as, as I've mentioned many times before. Uh, Ori is definitely lined up. I'm just waiting for my fasting month to end so I can play Ori a little bit more consistently. And of course, we've still got Hollow Knight. There's a bunch of things left. Uh, I've downloaded a couple of other games on my PS5 as well. I haven't played them yet. I don't want to tell you what it is until I play them. So that will be a surprise. But that's it. Thank you so much, as always, for joining my journey on, on this beautiful, beautiful game. I really, really appreciate all your support throughout. Uh, that was really fun. It was really fun to read your comments and see you guys enjoyed and laugh at the craziness together and also like recommend me what to do. 
Uh, so yeah, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you'll join me in the next one as well. I've been talking for a long time. It's time for me to go make some dinner and get ready to eat. All right, for the last time in Chia's playthrough, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.